It's Thursday night. I'm feeling all right. Oh my God. And we're not at another theme park, baby. I did. Did I just rhyme everything? Was that a one, two, and three rhyme? No, I said, feeling all right. Something, I don't remember what I said. Thursday night. Thursday night, I'm feeling all right. I'm not another theme park, baby. It was no right. The first part was. Oh, the first part was. I find it a bit weird that every time you go to the boardwalk, you have to come up with an egregious lie in order to get into that particular property. So if I gotta go to the property and I don't have a room reservation, I have to lie and say, oh, I'm going to eat at ESPN Zone. I want to drink at the Abacadab Bar. I want a funnel cake. I have to take a massive dump and I can't hold it anymore. So you, you really gotta like know the restaurants to say I have a reservation there and pray that they don't look you up. That I don't know if that's happened, but God, it's just a nightmare to try to get into that place. Although it is very pretty when there's a lot of people here and it is overlooking over here with all the lights and the resorts and the boats and the ducks yeah there's ducks duckies ducky let me pet you let me pet you ducks i need to pet you duckies come back come back ducks come back Oh, they're gone. They're gone. Sorry, ducks. Also, the funny thing is that if you're on the outside of the ESPN club, it sounds like uh, NBA 2K19 playing in the background. Because without context, without seeing the game, you can just hear Marv Albert calling the game. No, it's not Marv Albert. It's a Marv Albert type calling the game. So I just assume it's a video <laughs> game happening in the background. Why is there so many gazebos? You can do it. Sean's going to jump over this for $20. I don't have $20. I am so proud of you. I'm looking out for you. I believe you can do it. Oh, God. I'm terrified. Oh, God. He said he doesn't know yet what um, what, what, what's happening? What, what, what was that? You jumped over it? So... I don't think you did, and I'm gonna slow this down and look at it again, so I don't think you jumped over it. He looks, he looks like he's stomping it. What are you doing? <laughs> what is this resort that I'm following everybody going to? I don't know. It's called the Blue Resort. Is that what it's called? Yeah. You, you know sure? why? Oh god. Because the entire thing is blue. This is the Blue Disney Resort. What the F? What the F is this resort? So... I've never seen this resort before. I'm gonna call it the Blue Resort. And the cool thing about the Blue Resort that I saw, and I don't really know the name of it, and it was weird because like Disney didn't like post the names of it anywhere. There's no name of this resort anywhere. None that I can see, like no matter where you look. So I'm just gonna call it the Disney Blue Resort. Although when I tried looking for the Disney Blue Resort online, it doesn't exist, so I don't know what type of resort they're looking for. I don't even understand the theme. What's what's the Disney Blue Resort? Why why is everything blue? What's what's happening? Is this like how come you just don't put your name? Like you have All Star Sports, and you have All Star Movies, and then you have the contemporary blue. Uh, hello, doggos. Hello. Hello! Oh, pretty, pretty. oh I'm so happy to see you guys. <laughs> oh, they're amazing. They're adorable. Now I gotta try to figure out how I can bring my cats to the park. <laughs> scooter gang, 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 scooter Scooter game, scooter game, scooter game, scooter game. Scooter game, scooter game, scooter game, scooter game, scooter game, scooter game. Scooter game. 
This is super cool. I've never been in here before. This is the Abracadab Bar. And uh, you're like a wall of magician stuff. And other things. Also, by the way, that's where they're doing Ratatouille. The Ratatouille showroom. And it's the backside that nobody gets to show you. So after kind of going around uh, the boardwalk, we decided to make a last minute run into Epcot. I mean, we have like seconds to spare. So we had to do it. We had to go to Epcot. Hey, we made it into the park with zero minutes to spare. Yeah, it is exactly nine o'clock now. It's nine o'clock and the park closes. We made we it in Epcot. As if like, we've been coming to Epcot the entire day. How funny. There's got to be something like blissful about the, the England Pavilion. Nice and quiet. Except for Jack the Tripper. in a split second. It was super empty. Now all of a sudden it's like everyone in the world is uh, for a brief moment though. For a brief moment. She and I had this entire area by ourselves. I was swinging on the pole. You were swinging on the pole. I was sitting on the pole. Didn't nobody see oh us, God. but literally it's, it's like the floodgates open and everybody was here. And nobody was here. Did that guy tell me to bring sexy back? He did, and I blew he decided it. to hip thrust. So yeah, that guy was just like, are you bringing sexy back? And I was like, I'm bringing sexy back. Yeah. All right. <laughs> <laughs> that was our walk around the boardwalk at night. At night. As well as going to Epcot. In the final one minute that it was open. <sighs> Did we make it? I think we made it. It was cool. Yeah? Yeah. All right, that's it. We're done. We're sick of it. We're sick of it! <laughs> <laughs> it's hard to say it when you're laying, you're laying on the grass and there's no one around you. <laughs> Watching, smash that subscribe button. Do it. All that fun stuff. We're out. <laughs> you heard the lady. <laughs>